White flag raised. And that off. Five runners over ten and a half miles in the railway bar. This Mullen hurdle. It's a great two. And straight off into the lead goes home by the Lee. Incredible winner of last year's race when he almost turned over his own furniture at the first. Followed by Zanny here, Bosselton, racing together at the back, Andy Dufresne and Bob Bollinger. Heading to the end of the back straight, home by the Lee. Is out in front of Zanny here, Bosselton. At the back, Bob Bollinger, Andy Dufresne. On to the second flight before the straight. Home by the Lee and JJ Slevin, not so far in front of Zanny here and Jack Kennedy. Shading the second from Bosselton and Richie Deegan landing in fourth. Bob Bollinger, Rachel Blackmore in fifth of the five. Andy Dufresne and Mark Walsh. Mark having made the switch. Turning in, having jumped two. Home by the Lee all the while. Comes back to both Zanny here and Bosselton. The latter stable companion of the leader. Then Bob Bollinger is now a clear running fourth. The back marker is Andy Dufresne. Coming inside their final two miles as they make tracks to flights three and four in the home straight. All shunning the inside rail, home by the Lee, followed by Zanny here, Bustleton, Bob Ollinger, Andy Dufresne. So they pop the third. Downhill to the fourth they come. Home by the Lee, the leader from Zanny here with a win to his name already to the season and then Bustleton in the stripes. Bob Bollinger last but one. Andy Dufresne, the back marker of the Quintet, who come towards the fourth and the final flight next time in the railway bar, Liss Mullen Hurdle. Home by the leader, leader from Zanny here, Bosselton, Bob Bollinger, Andy Dufresne. Little changes at the fourth. Home by the Lee, reeled in by Zanny here, who's now within a couple of lengths. Bosselton third. And then the returning Bob Bollinger and runner up of 12 months ago, Andy Dufresne. The back mark. All runners racing by themselves, finishing next time. Soon at the halfway stage, home by the Lee, leads to the turn. Zanny here, Bustleton, Bob Bollinger, and Andy Dufresne. As they turn towards the flight at the halfway stage, home by the Lee yet to be headed. It's tracked by Zanny here, Bustleton, Bob Bollinger, Andy Dufresne. Flight number five, taking the minute of the back straight. Home by the lead, JJ Slevin. Stretching on again. From Zanny here, Jack Kennedy. Third is Bustleton, Richie Deegan. Bob Bollinger is fourth, Rachel Blackmore with the back marker, Andy Dufresne, Mark Walsh. Down the far side they go with a little over nine furlongs to travel. Six flights left to jump. Home by the lead. Once more gathered in by Zanny here, who's back within a couple of lengths, and then Bustleton, Bob Bollinger, and Andy Dufresne. They've passed the halfway stage, just over a mile to go, as they return to the point at which they set off. Home by the Lee, by less than three lengths to Zanny here, then Bustleton, Bob Bollinger, and Andy Dufresne. A little awkward at the back. At the end of a circuit, Four flights left to jump. Home by the Lee enjoys a three lead over Zanny here. Bustleton third, and then Bob Ollinger and Andy Dufresne. Less than seven furlongs to go. Four flights to jump, and the grade two railway bar list Mullen Hurdle. Still little or no changes in the order of running. Soon to head off the back straight. Home by the Lee. Chased all the while by Zanny here, Bustleton, Bob Ollinger, and Andy Dufresne, much closer and last as they turn at the end of the back straight. Three flights left to jump. Home the, the Lee is re-establishing a four-length advantage over Zanny here, the length in front of Bosselton. Less than two lengths to Bob Bollinger and then Andy Dufresne, who dragged himself through that flight. Just over half a mile to go, working back for the approach to the straight with two flights left to jump. Home by the Lee, nudged along in front, but opposed. A good four-length advantage over Zanny here. Next is Bustleton, about to be joined for third by Bob Bollinger and then Andy Dufresne. In they come for the final two flights. Home by the Lee, the leader from Zanny here, Bustleton. 
And then Bob Ollinger and Andy Dufresne. This is the second last flight, after which they have a good long run to the last. Home by the lead, reeled in by Zanny here, who is now on terms. Zanny here followed through by Bob Ollinger. Busselton is feeling the pinch on the inside, and Andy Dufresne's come under pressure. Zanny here picks off the long time leader home by the lee, right in behind them, slipstreaming as Bob Ollinger waiting for the gap to come. Heading to the final flight, Zanny here from home by the lee and squeezing through in between them as Bob Ollinger, who's coming there, swinging the final flight. Bob Ollinger joins issue with Zanny here in third place, is home by the lee, 200 yards to go. Zanny here is battling back on the outside of Bob Ollinger. It's nip and tuck. Bob Ollinger is getting up on the inside and is showing some of his old spot. Sparkle in the last mile and hurdle as he goes one better than last year. Second Zanny here, home by the lead, third. Joined now by Henry de Bromhead, who's just seen Bob Ollinger return to the number one spot in the railway bar, Les Mullen Hurdle. Henry, I think the crowd really enjoyed that. Just how much of a thrill did it give you? Yeah, real thrill. I, yeah, I mean, I was pretty nervous throughout, you know, um, when you see what he's doing at home and we can't, weren't replicating it on the track. It's it's lovely to see him go and do something, you know, something nice. He looks back to his old self there today. Rachel was brilliant on him, and I was a little bit nervous after we jumped the last, but I suppose, in fairness, Sanna here was entitled to pick up as well, but our lad picked up really well. I remember speaking to you this day 12 months ago, when we both thought he ran pretty well to be yes. second to home by the lead, but then he went backwards after yeah. that. Yeah. Is there anything that you've been able to pinpoint or put your finger on to get him to work on, to get him back to the horse we saw today? Look, there's a lot of work's gone into him, uh, and, and I was saying earlier on, uh, uh, it, like there's a big team and, and a lot of people to thank, but someone who stands out is Robert Power. He took him back after um, Nace uh, last year, and he has done a huge amount of work. He, is, he and his sister have done a lot of work, and, and a lot of credit has to go to them through the summer into the early autumn. He came down to us looking a picture, but uh, in fairness to Robbie, he, he, he's done a lot of work. Now, there's a lot of people as well that don't <laughs> are behind him. Uh, Davey Roach, you know, rides him most days, all our team at home. But in fairness to Robbie, he, 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 turned, he sent him down to us just looking a million dollars and he'd done a lot of work on him. If last season hadn't unraveled the way it had, would you have actually come here today pretty confident based on what you were seeing from him? Um, yeah, I mean, he, you see, you're always confident with what you're seeing at home, you know, even last year we were, you know, but uh, we, it just wasn't, uh, we weren't seeing it on the track. I suppose, as you say, the first day we thought he ran well, didn't we? And then after that, he was disappointing. Yeah, Henry, we all know he's one of the stars of the game when he's on top of his game. What, what's in your mind for him from here? Or is it almost day to day with him? It is, to be honest, Gary, like in fairness, we, we all wanted to just see him, even, not even win, just finish out the race and hit the line. Um, now we can start making more plans. Yeah, look, there's always plenty of debates around him, so uh, uh, we'll all sit down and see where we'll go next. But like he shows so much pace, you know, at home and, and on the track. I think um, all options are open, to be honest, and we haven't really, you know, today was, was the day that we, we were all focusing on. Would that include chasing or have you completely put that to one side for now? Like I say, all options are open, but I, 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 I would, if I say one thing, we could end up doing the other. <laughs> you know? commit, I understand. Yeah, yeah, I just don't. It was to get here today and we felt we had him back to getting close to his best again and it's nice to see him doing what he did yeah it was great to watch must just before we let you go ask you about in the pocket later on how much is he going to improve for today and how, how big a threat do you think he could be to Faso Vega here well look I mean there you know he's he's a very good horse in the pocket obviously we all have to take defenses and see he schooled well at home he won his point to point um, uh, he's a horse we think a lot of, he, you know, he ran well in the uh, Supreme um, and then obviously won at Aintree. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, you know, um, he, he's a very good horse in his own right. He is, there's no question. Three in Detroit town tomorrow, are you looking forward to having a crack at the big handicap? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, 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 they've all got chances, ain't that a shame. Um, he's been a bit unlucky in a couple of the big handicaps, uh, largely debut rank, Grace. <laughs> at Limerick and Watch House Cross is coming out of Novice and he's a nice horse to see the step up and trip. Ground might come against him a little bit but we'll see. Stars keep on coming. Captain Guinness is next. Good luck with him Henry and thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.